Understandably, security is a top priority at Sale Boston. In fact, the celebration received Homeland Security's highest risk designation, even higher than the Boston Marathon. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live along the harbor right now with a look at the tight measures that are in place. Mike? Ken, uh, good evening. Despite the fog today, thousands of people still came down here to see the parade of sails. Folks are now allowed to board the ships like we are here on the Pride of Baltimore, too. But before you can get to this point, you have to go through those tight security measures. Airport like security at checkpoints along the waterfront as the masses sail in to see the tall ships arrive in Boston Harbor. Yeah, we got through, it was a breeze, no problem, really fast, so we appreciate them being down here. Jump trucks blocking access to the crowds in the seaport district as canine units patrol the streets. I think it's good. I think it's awesome. And they, they mean business, so definitely if you're coming, you have big backpacks and stuff, don't fool around because I think they mean business and that makes us more secure as well. The Sail Boston security measures in place after months of planning between local, state, and federal agencies, their presence on the ground and in the water. All in all, I thought it was a great day. You know, we had over 50 ships from 13 different countries, and so uh, I don't think it could have went any better. Boston Police Commissioner Bill Evans saying there were no arrests or major incidents during day one. He's asking for continued cooperation while the ships remain docked in the harbor. I think come into the city. You know, as you've seen, those ships were majestic today. They're great to see. So, you know, there's four more days of viewing. And, you know, again, like we proved today, you know, there's no threats out there. No one should be afraid. And a lot of the checkpoints and roadblocks have been removed, but if you do plan to board these ships, you will have to go through specific checkpoints. People are being asked to leave the backpacks at home to keep that process moving smoothly. We're live from the Pride of Baltimore 2 at Fame Pier. Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.